Hi, I'm Dr. Tay. It is lovely to see you again. How are you doing? Well, I'm guessing it's not great because you're here. You want to tell me a little bit of what's going on? Okay. Yeah, I see here, not feeling too well. Might have fever and a headache. Is there anything in particular that may have caused it? You're not sure. When did it start? Okay. Well, you made the right choice coming in today. Absolutely. Don't ever feel like you shouldn't come in. It started a few days ago. Was it more intense then or now? Now. Okay. All right, well, I'm gonna do a few tests. Yeah, and just see where you're at. Let me feel your forehead real quick. Old fashioned around here you are. But I can see you, you look clammy. Just a little bit. Have you taken anything yet today? I understand. Yeah. Oh no, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. Oh, I'm not worried about getting sick. You're fine. Don't you worry about me, okay, sweetheart? I am more worried about you. Where's my other glove? There it is. Silly thing was hiding. It's not the one I want. There we go. Do you have any other symptoms? Oh, really? And when did that start? Same time, okay. That's also very good to note. Sounds like typical flu, but we will see because it's gotten worse in the last few days, which give or take. Yeah. First thing I'm going to do. All right. Hold still. I'm just going to take your temperature. I'm gonna hold my breath and I want you to open your mouth and go, ah, okay? And go. Okay. So you do have three. Have you ever had strep throat before? Your ears hurt at all? Just a little bit. Okay. Okay. I'll take a look at your ears. Go ahead and just 
stay still for me and look this way. Now I'm gonna go over here. Okay, yeah. Well. You seem to be swollen a little bit everywhere right now. Which makes sense when you don't feel good. We're gonna go ahead and take your blood pressure and check your heart and all of that, okay? All right. All right, so let's go ahead and do, let's check your heart first. Breathe normal, okay? Okay. Take a deep breath for me. around you. We're going to listen to those lungs, okay? Take a deep breath in and let it out. And go ahead, do it again. And let it out. And again. And one more time for me. Okay, perfect. I'm going to go ahead and just feel around you. Let me know on a scale of 1 to 10 how sore you are, okay? Okay. Very sensitive to the touch. Okay. All right, so what I'm thinking is we're going to skip out on the blood pressure today because I don't want to make you worse. You're not showing any signs or symptoms of any of that being, you know, anything wrong there. Sorry, there's <laughs> some dust. Um, and your heart rate is fine, so that's awesome. All right. One thing though, just to precautions, you know. I'll check your reflexes, all right? So I'm just gonna do that one again. Okay. That was good, good, good. Now your knee. That one was good. Okay, your reflexes are good. Just want to make sure you have you know, movement. I know it's hard to walk around right now. I get it. So it seems to me like you do have the flu. And uh, I have the perfect prescription for that, all right? It's called prayer. Okay, okay. Maybe I'll give you some ibuprofen and a prayer. How does that sound? Good? Okay. Well, actually, I know you're very tired, but this is a, a very Christian <laughs> doctor's office. And let me tell you the word, God can work miracles. So we are going to read some of his word today. Just a few scriptures. That's going to be your prescription. I'm going to give you some some prescription. Yeah, which is scripture. Yeah, absolutely. 
Yes, and a written prescription as well. Don't you worry. I mean, I'm godly. I'm not. I'm not dumb. Okay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and and get into the word, shall we? About being sick. Because did you know that God wants us to rest when we're sick? Yeah. So let's go ahead and go to Jeremiah 33, 6. Nevertheless, I will bring health and healing to it. I will heal my people and will let them enjoy abundant peace and security. This one I'm going to read off of here, Psalms 107. When those that are sick call upon God, he returns them an answer of peace. They cry unto him and he saves them out of their distresses. Now let's go to Psalm 147.3. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Are you sick because you're brokenhearted? No. Okay. You never know. Lastly, Psalms 41. Again, it doesn't tell me what. Okay, Psalms 41. The Lord will sustain him on his sick bed and restore him from his bed of illness. There you have it, my dear. Some scripture to heal you, to help you heal. So here's your prescription. I want you to read some of God's word that has to do with being sick and I want you to take some ibuprofen as needed okay some Dayquil as needed all right and I also want you to pray that is your prescription and if you don't start feeling better within a few more days I want you to come back okay I will get this written up for you and you can be on your way, okay? So let's do scriptures on the sick prayer. I oh, and I forgot to say rest, lots of rest. And make sure you're drinking a lot of water and you're eating foods that don't upset your stomach. So like chicken noodle soup, maybe a little bit of ginger ale, and uh, yeah, some broth, and some crackers. Okay, so we got scriptures on being sick, prayer, ibuprofen, rest, water, eating bland food, such as rice, chicken noodle, Shoop. Sip water, like always, and ginger ale. Got it? All right, my dear. Get better soon. I will pray for you, okay? All right, wait. Let's pray together. Okay. God, I ask you to please heal and make well this person in front of me, Lord as they call out to you and ask you to heal them from their sickness. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, you take care. Go get some rest now. <laughs>